What's up, everyone, for the Winitachi here? You know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning in. So we've got StarCraft 2 information for you guys. What's up, everyone, for the Winitachi here? You know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning in. So we got StarCraft information for you guys um, from BlizzCon 2018. We've got other games and information for you guys as well, featuring Diablo, Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, Heroes of Storm, and so much more. So go ahead and check out the respective playlists for those different games. Um, but for today in this video, we got a new co-op commander preview of Zeratul. So without further ado, let's check out what this is all about. Alas, the day has finally come. One of the coolest lore characters, the man. end war is upon us. And all of creation depends on our victory. I must look again to the wisdom of the Zelnaga. Starcraft is, is the game in World of War and no, in Blizzard that like started it all to me. My brother used to play this and damn. In this alternate time I'm talking back Zeratul in the goddamn 90s. To see the battle against Amon fully unfold. As a commander, he harnesses the power of the Zelnaga for his army and upgrades. Zeratul himself is a heroic unit who can be controlled on the battlefield. He'll also call down reinforcements led by notable Protoss warriors. Though they cannot be directly controlled, you'll still be able to guide them to key locations during the fight. This In addition to game. his army, I can't believe I don't play it, man. I'm just so bad at it, that's why. To help his allies. During each mission, he'll be able to use his prophetic vision ability to discover fragments of a lost Zelnaga artifact one by one. After he's located a fragment, Zeratul must use Prophetic Vision again to pick it up. Once he has gathered three of them, an artifact will be fully assembled and ready to grant Zeratul an incredible new power. Zeratul's various warriors can gain upgrades from the artifacts you find, and the benefits get more varied the more you collect. I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. While Zeratul and his forces fight on, you will have the I chance to talk build like his that with an echo by choosing artifact abilities that complement your strategy. For example, Stasis Beam will put certain enemies in stasis, allowing you to cut the others down easily. Void Blink is another massive advantage that will reduce the cooldown of all your unit's blink abilities so they can wreak even more havoc on your foes. Finally, Zeratul can unlock constructs that represent the purity of form and the purity of essence. The avatar of form showcases the potential for great psionic power. Once summoned, it will leverage abilities like psionic gale, psionic blast, and summon charged crystals. Contrastingly, the avatar of essence captures the potential for evolution. It will buff your units gradually over time and even devolve enemy units to less powerful forms. Armed with the wisdom and might of the ancient Zelnaga, Zeratul stands poised to change fate, once and for all. My life for iron. I mean, I don't play StarCraft. I, I know quite a bit about StarCraft, though. If you guys want to see me play some StarCraft, post down below in the comment section. But that was cool. I mean, I love the campaigns in StarCraft. That's something that would get me into the game, just because of the campaigns. I know I suck at the main part of the game, but those type of campaigns that they've been releasing, those are really, really cool. What do you guys think down below in the comment section? Peace out. Catch you guys in the next one.